Hey what's up guys welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome to this video this is John from Samax Code and in this video guys we're gonna talk about Java effects by directional property binding so from the previous video we have implemented the simple uh, unidirectional binding of properties okay so let's try this first our demo property project and then we can see how the unidirectional binding property works so say for example we change the value for our number property and then it could you know reflect the changes into our progress bar and pro uh, progress indicator okay and then of course we could decrement the value by five percent or uh, increment the value by five percent now let's try to implement the bidirectional binding so we could you know create a new project and this is just a short video guys on how we can implement a bidirectional um, binding in JavaFX. So I'm just going to add the main class here for our project. And then the name of the application is demo property bidirectional. Okay and then finish so we're going to implement slider and a text field and what we will do is try to you know change the property of the text field and of course it should uh, change the property or progress property of the slider also so let's implement that open up our main fxml file we could remove this elements right here buttons because as I've said we're going to implement the slider UI so so there are two types you could use slider horizontal and you could also use slider vertical so let's just uh, choose the horizontal one and we could also add text field to our project okay so we could add the FX ID, for example, TF um, input, and then we could name it as slider, or the ID for our slider is just slider. So enter and then save our file, and then we could go back into our FXML document, and then we could, you know, make the controller or update the controller itself so we have here the um, slider and of course the input so what we can do here is we could set the initial value of our um, progress or I mean the slider and of course also the text field so we can declare a, um, a variable for our initial value so initial value so we'll make it like um 30 okay and then of course we could remove this um initialize we could you know set the value of slider by using the initial value so that slider and then um set value into the initial value course and then we could also use the text field and then set the text so we need to new, uh, use the new double constructor and then the init uh, I mean the initial uh, value and then convert it to string okay and then of course we could you know bind the properties for this so uh, uh, input field and then text property and of course we need to say here bind bidirectional okay and then we need to specify the property of our slider so slider dot value property and um, we could you know set this to 
the number property of our text field. So we could uh, number format, use the number format, and then get number, number instance. Okay. So I think our project is now set. We could save this, clean and build our application, and try to run our project once again or I mean for the first time and then we can see here the initial value of slider which is set to 30 and of course we could see the value here in our text field now every time we change this slider it should also change the value from our text field okay right so since we're doing it by directional so we could also set the value from here like for example uh, 90 percent or 50 percent or 30 we could also set it to um, uh, it gives us an error because you know we delete uh, deleted the value earlier but uh, as you can see it works and it is bi-directional because we can set the value from our slider or we could also set it here from our text field okay so I think that's all there is to it guys for this tutorial and if you have questions please let me know in the comment section below. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.